My name is Alex Schultz, and I'm a software engineer, and I work in an innovation lab at my company, and we work with machine learning and deep learning and artificial intelligence. I think there's this notion that you have to be a math major or have a PhD to get into machine learning, and I can tell you that's not the case. I come from a regular development background. I got this job about four months ago, and it all pretty much started with AWS and participating in the Deep Lens Challenge. This is my project submission for the AWS Deep Lens Challenge. I was coming up with all these ideas and things that I could do. When I first started, I built a project called Deep Stash, where you just draw mustaches on people's faces. That was kind of fun. But <laughs> I was reading to my kids one night. Why would I be afraid of a long tongue, I asked. Well, I don't know, he said. The idea just came to me like, what if something else could actually read these books to my kids? So I created this project called Read to Me, which actually takes children's books and reads them out loud to children. Would you like to read a story? When I first started building this thing, I had to kind of break it down into steps. First thing, we had to find the block of text. You have to run it through something called OCR, so optical character recognition. And then I sent that off to Amazon Polly, turned it to speech, and then I got the audio file back. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. I told my kids, hey, you know, if I win, then I'll give each you $100 sort of half jokingly, like, oh, I'm not gonna win this, like, there's no way. Well, then I won, and then, you know, they came asking for their, <laughs> they came with their hands out, they're like, all right, Dad, you know, here, pay up. And I'm excited to announce the launch of a new sports league, AWS Deep Racer League. The next year at reInvent, when they announced the Deep Racer, my initial thought was, how does a self-driving car know what to do? The Deep Lines is built on a OpenVINO platform and there's an Intel GPU on the chip, which is the same setup on the Deep Racer. So going from Deep Lines to Deep Racer was a pretty natural progression. It's a fun way to learn. You can take the code that they already have as an example, and then through the console, they've really abstracted away a lot of the heavy lifting. It's really cool that AWS built this platform, the AWS Deep Racer, where normal developers can kind of get in and get their feet wet with reinforcement learning. Deep Lens, Deep Racer, there are ways that you can get your hands dirty. You can go from there. I don't think I'd be where I'm at now without Deep Lens and Deep Racer.